Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Excel to model IV infusion. So this is very similar to IV1 compartment, and that's because we're not really concerned with the actual infusion aspect of it. We're more concerned with how fast the drug is leaving the body once we stop the infusion. So that's why, like you see here, it's time after the infusion is stopped, not just time in general. So I have the time and concentration values. And so the first step is, as always, to get the LN of the concentration. So I'm just going to click in this cell, going to click equals, LN, parentheses, click the number, close the parentheses, and press enter. Then I'm going to click on this cell again and copy this formula down. All right, and then I'm going to select this column, hold down Control or Command for a Mac, and select this column, then go to Insert, and I'm going to insert a scatter graph. All right, here's my graph. Add a chart element. We're going to do a trend line, linear. Double-click this line, display the equation, and display the R-squared value. Okay, now that I have the equation, I can get the values that I need to do further math problems. First is the k value, and that is just equal to this first number. That's the slope without the negative sign. So that's just 0 0.3906. And then we don't call this the CP naught. This is CPSS because it's the concentration at steady state. And it is equal to the ln inverse of this last number. Well, in Excel, you can just type that as exp parentheses and type the number in 2.0539. Close the parentheses and press enter. And that is our concentration at steady state. And now we can use these values to do different math problems, such as finding half life or finding the volume of distribution or the rate of infusion. Anything like that we can now do because we have these values.